Hey everybody, Pete here to show you how to put together your 2025 Tuck Tech Folding Kayak. The first couple times you do it, count on about 15 to 20 minutes or so while you work in the plastic and get used to the process. But no worries, after about a half a dozen times, most people are down to about two to five minutes for assembly. We had the Pro model featured today. So there'll be a couple extra accessories and stuff that we'll point out later in the video. If you didn't get the Pro model, don't worry, it doesn't affect the rest of assembly. So the first things we're gonna do, release the shoulder strap and undo the Velcro. We're gonna set this to the side because we're gonna need it in a bit. Then we're gonna roll our kayak out. Setting our seat, seat cage, and skeg off to the side. We're gonna start with the bow and the stern of the boat. So the first thing you'll do, undo the Velcro strap, bring this together, insert the Velcro into this tab, and bring that together nice and tight. Now you'll come around, make sure that this is pointed out, and hug the bound together and attach with the latch here. Now we're going to do the same thing on the back end of the boat. Undo the Velcro, bring this together, insert the Velcro into this tab, and pull it together nice and tight. Make sure the boat is pointed out, and then hug the other side together, and attaching with that latch right here. Now we'll move to the sides. So you'll see that this is all pretty much lined up on its own after you do the balance stern. All you're going to do is insert here, bring that lever over, and that's all the pressure that it takes, one finger, and lock it into place. Now we'll do that for the other three latches around the boat, bring the plastic together, insert into the notch, bring it over, and lock it into place. Two more to go. Bring the plastic over insert it into the notch, bring it over, lock it into place. Then the last one here, bring the plastic in, insert, bring it over, and latch. And that's it for the hull of the boat. Now on your seat and seat cage, you're gonna want your Velcro strap, your cage, and your seat. We're gonna start by inserting the cage. Let's get these out of the way. You'll open your cage up and insert this part of the pipe into the upper hole right here. For the front end, you'll line up with this black clip, move this out of the way, clip it in, and pop it in the hole, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. Insert the pipe into the top hole, line it up with this black clip move that out of the way and pop it down. Now that that's done, we'll insert the seat. This new model, you'll see a pipe on the back here that attaches right to the seat cage. Once that's popped into place, you'll put that on this back bar, take your Velcro strap, fuzzy side down, And that straps into place. If you'd like, you can take your shoulder strap, bring that back around the seat, attaching to the other end and tightening it down. And don't worry, if this is too far back for you, all you have to do is move the seat up a little bit forward, disconnect it from the pipe, and then use the shoulder strap to support the backrest and your kayak is ready for the water. Now we're gonna go over a couple of the Pro Model features. Now the first feature of the Pro Model is an adjustable footrest. You'll see it's connected here. There are three different slots you can put it in. What you're gonna to wanna to do, insert into the first slot, and then pop this plastic out to lock it into place. Now moving on to the bungee deck. 
really what this is is just a little extra storage. You don't have to tie this any certain way, but I'm going to show you how I do it. And that'll work for some additional storage. Now, the last uh, extra for the Pro Package is the attachable skeg. So what you're going to do, take your skeg, see this arrow? It's going to show you which way to put it. Undo the Velcro. Insert the skeg. And then Velcro it back into place by inserting it into the tab and wrapping it around. And that is all the Pro Model upgrades. And now last but not least, how to roll your folding kayak up when you're done for the day. We're gonna start by removing the straps here. You wanna fully extend this back out. Undo your Velcro strap and set that to the side. We're going to need it in a minute. I like to tuck it into my belt loop right here. Now we'll remove the skeg. Set that to the side. I like to re-Velcro this here just to keep it out of my way while I'm rolling it up. Now you don't have to do the rest of this in any particular order. So I just like to start on one side of the boat and unlatch everything. So you press this down slightly, move the spindle, bring it out, press down slightly, remove the spindle, bring it out, press down, spin, out. Again, I like to fold that back up just to keep it out of my way. Press down, spin, out. And notice I've left the seat cage in the whole time. I suggest leaving that till last, and I'll show you why. Once this is all undone, the seat cage removes very easily by popping the back out. And again, pop that back out, the rest comes right out. Disconnect the cage from the seat. Set this to the side for now. Now, Keep in mind, you want to make sure that your straps are fully extended and outside the kayak so you don't roll them back up. Your seat is going to go in this last long panel in the back right before the final fold. <clears throat> so we'll start here, tucking your footrest into the first fold. And now pull, fold, press, making sure everything stays behind the next line. Pull, fold, and press. Now for this next one, you want to make sure that these levers are out of the way and do not insert into these holes. So keep an eye on that as you're bringing it in. Nice and flat. Now for the seat panel, you want to make sure that's touched close to you. Bring it around and then roll over for the final fold. Once it's all rolled back up, take your Velcro strap fuzzy side down and wrap it around the kayak. Strap that into place. You're going to take your seat cage and your skeg, if you have the pro model, insert it right into this center panel. Redo your shoulder strap, and that's it. You're good to go.